to a brand new video. So you're probably wondering why we're we starting the video off in an industrial site. Well, this is now an ordinary industrial site, shall I say. So this is Bisbon. And the reason why this one is so special is because there's a place just there. I'll just show you. So it's um, Lawfield and Abbott Automotive Vehicle Restoration Specialists. That was the last part of the old TVR garage, what used to stand on Bristol Avenue. And, you know, the majority of this used to belong to, uh, to TVR. And sadly, it closed its doors uh, numerous years ago. And up to 250 people was employed at um, TVR. And you can just, you know, the, the, the cars are still um, still on the road. But yeah, what a, what a shame. And in, uh, I spoke to this gentleman um, some while ago, and, you know, he used to work on the cars, what were hideouts of the Queen uh, years and years ago. And he, it's, a, it's an amazing story he was telling me. And uh, he said, you know, he's going to call his uh, call it a day, hang his boots up for the last time this year due to uh, his retirement and also uh, arthritis. And uh, it was just in that, just below that white sign, that was the uh, the last of the uh, the TVR. And like I said, this is at Bristol Avenue, and all of this building here is going to be demolished and uh, made into like a new huts. What's further on down there? I'll just show you a couple of new huts. So like I said, the building, you know, is, uh, is going, it's going to be demolished very soon. And it's going to be made into uh, the huts, like we can see here. So all these are the new, brand new developed. And uh, there used to be an ice skating ring as well down here. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I've been in there and there used to be an ice skating ring at all sorts down Bristol Avenue, which is uh, sadly no more. And you can, uh, you can just see, it looks like a, Possibly uh, somebody's chair, one of those comfy ones, just uh, just at the back. And uh, what a shame that you know things uh, never stay the same. So yeah, I wish uh, wish the gentleman who was in charge all the very best for his uh, for his retirement. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to have a bit of a look around the uh, the Bisbon Village and uh, hit the promenade. But I just thought I'd just show you that wonderful orange sky. Just look at that. And this is uh, just on Bristol Avenue in Bisbam. So yeah, we're going to move forward and have a bit of a look around Bisbam, see exactly what Bisbam has to offer. So I was going to uh, to end the video at the top end of Bisbam, start at the uh, at the beginning uh, in Bisbam Village, but I just wanted to bring you this, uh, this orange. I've only just managed to grab a little bit of it. But earlier on, it was so, uh, so wonderful. There's a huge orange in the sky all over the sea. You can see now it's just uh, just disappearing. I just wanted to bring uh, bring that. So I think I've only just managed to grab it. But yeah, so we're, we're going to head back towards um, Bisbon Village and uh, have a bit of a look around the village. But what an amazing sunset! And that's what gives you that sort of glow of warmth from all the uh, horrible weather we've had of late. And this is the at uh, the top of Red Bank Road. Now the illuminations do start right at the very top of Rent Bank Road to go all the way down uh, into uh, deep into Blackpool and uh, there's a wonderful little cafe here I've mentioned it previously we'll have a, a quick look because they've actually put planning permission for a roof terrace and you can see there's actually glass and you can see that there's actually glass it looks like you know there, there might be well in uh, well underway in getting this roof terrace and uh, directly in front we've got the uh, the Highlands you know that fantastic little uh, little pub and you can get your uh, your food in there and also this was closed down a while ago which uh, is the hearts amusements and this was actually closed down but you see it's now reopened it looks like it just opens um on a weekend you know due to the uh, the outer season but again another great place and uh, this one certainly changed hands it's now uh, manfredi and it looks like it's an ice cream parlor and that used to be a fishing shop and all sorts back in his time so like I said, we are at the, uh, the top of Red Bank Road and uh, we'll have a, a bit of a walk down and just see what is open and what's new. You see, we've got the, uh, the Bisbon Kitchen, the Top Chip here. We've got all the, uh, all the goodies, all the food restaurants along here. Uh, there's also many other takeaway places where you can grab something to eat, you know, when you walk in the lights. And uh, yeah, the, sadly, there's no re real 
decorations in Bisbam, no sort of Christmas spirit really. I mean, the odd shop is uh, decorated wonderfully, don't get me wrong. Uh, in fact, I might have spoke too soon because I think I've just spied our first Christmas tree in Bisbon. So there we go. So it's not part of Bisbon, it's part of the shop which has uh, put their own tree up, which is, uh, which is amazing. Look at that one. So again, you know, you've got all the uh, independent shops in Bisbon. So it reminds me a little of Cleveland's uh, Bisbon town. Um, because each one, you know, it's not, it's not owned by a chain. You know, it's their, their own business. And, uh, you know, they are doing really well. You know, you don't see a, a lot, to be fair, what are uh, boarded up or anything. So Bisbon, yeah, it certainly reminds me a little of Cleveland's. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just we'll carry on walking. You see Sainsbury's. Is uh, just uh, just uh, in straight in the distance, and that's closed at four. And again, we've got the uh, the Bisbon Hotel, and uh, yeah, I think I've only been there once, so I couldn't tell you what it's like. But it's a wonderful building. Look at that one. It's called the uh, the Cask. You see all these uh, micro pubs just opening up. And again, that's in Bisbon. Also, there's a live band going. Uh, and we've got also a Carvery as well. Look at that one. We've got our own carvery in Bisbon, so that's a... I haven't seen that one before, let's have a, a quick look. There we go, so we've got our own carvery now in Bisbon. Gigi's Carvery. So if you do fancy a bit of a roast dinner, you know, why not pop now? It looks like they're open as well. So that's uh, something worth trying out. You know, if you are struggling for, uh, you know, a nice roast meal, then pop now, and that's just opposite. Swing the camera around to the, uh, to the right, and that's just opposite. Um, Bisbon Conservative Club, you can see there, got their own Bisbon Conservative Club in Bisbon. And uh, this is sort of halfway down our Red Bank Road, and we've got the uh, Bellamy's Fish Bar. Uh, so they used to be called the Middle Chippy, and that's certainly a nice one. And uh, it looks like uh, they've got a lot of trees outside, so you can like, you know, pick your own Christmas tree also. Look at that. So again, if you're struggling for a Christmas tree, you can grab it in there. Just uh, like I said, just near Sainsbury's, halfway down the Bellamy's Fish Bar. Go and grab your tree and treat yourself to that lovely Sunday roast dinner. And uh, two thirds of the way down, uh, so we're really all going for it now. This is the, the Bisbon Fire Station. So if you've seen the fire engines whipping around Blackpool, I'd imagine, no doubt, one of them would have come from uh, Bisbon Fire Station on that emergency service. And this is uh, just near uh, Sandcroft Avenue. Um, you see the, uh, the flag there, look at that, waving the English sign. And yes, yeah, so this is the, uh, the fire station on Red Bank Road, so not, not a lot of people probably uh, know this. And uh, this has been here for, for years and years. And uh, yeah, so imagine like, you know, in the, in the past when you've seen the uh, fire engines whipping about, I'd imagine one of them would have been called from uh, this station right here. So we're just now at the old Devonshire Library, and this is now called the uh, the Langdale Centre. And uh, yeah, so this used to be the old uh, library. So many years ago, as a lot of people remember, you know, if you want to get that bit of information, or in just uh, just enjoy that lovely story, you used to go to the uh, the libraries, and they're few and far between now. And uh, this one closed out many many years ago, and is now the uh, the Langdale Centre. Um, so uh, I think that's just uh, just to the next door. So I'm not too sure if this building is uh, part of that, but you can see. Let's have a see if we can see. It's a bit dark, but just above it still says Bisbon Branch Library. You see, uh, you might just be able to make it out. Bisbon Branch Library, and uh, sadly, um, this one closed, like I said, many many years ago. So a lot of people, like I said, would have remembered grabbing your library card and paying those late charges when you brought your books back late. And just to join in the library is these wonderful parks and there's this one just uh, on the corner of Devonshire Road where the, uh, the main roundabout is and you can certainly enjoy a, a bit of peace and quiet in this park. It is very very late but they've got all little benches dotted about where like I said you can just enjoy that, that bit of a picnic or uh, just clear your head and that is just right next to the uh, right next to the library just whip the camera right round last little shot let's move the camera up there we go so that's the old uh, 
the old Bisbam Library. Uh, what, a, what a fitting place to end the video on this wonderfully decorated house just opposite the, uh, the rock gardens and how wonderful is this one and uh, yeah so if you do enjoy the videos don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button any comments i will try to get back to you uh, i was going to do bisman village but the uh, sadly the lights are still not on on the uh, the tree but what a wonderful display how uh, how amazing is this one so it certainly gets you into the uh, the christmas spirit and brings that bit of a warmth after a horrible few days of, uh, of the storm. So until next time, take care, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.